Tom. Marmadel and we're from Ups and Downs which is our charity based in Northamptonshire and we support children and families affected by Down syndrome. Ups and Downs began because a number of families who had children with Down syndrome got together and um, found support in each other. So there were um, like four boys all born within um, a, a year of each other and we asked one of the service coordinators at the time to put us in touch with people who also were affected by Down syndrome in the area um, and we just used to get together for coffee every week and bring the children together which at that early time when you're trying to come to terms with things is um, always a massive support. So for us Freddie was a surprise, uh, we weren't expecting Freddie to have Down syndrome um, and we didn't know much about Down syndrome until um, after we left the delivery room um, eight years ago um, and we were young and it was a surprise and so it was unexpected and it was a, a shock. Yeah, he, you know, he was our first baby, we were 28. It wasn't ever, it crossed my mind that we would have a child with Down syndrome. And then as soon as he arrived, I said to the midwife, oh, I think he looks like he might have Down syndrome. Mm. And I don't even know why I thought, I, I don't know whether I really thought it, but obviously there was something there. Mm. And um, initially, I, I think I literally heard my world crash around me. Um, and my, her, it seems ridiculous now, but my thought was, <laughs> there's going to be nobody that wants to marry him, which seems completely ridiculous now, <laughs> looking back. Um, but then we threw ourselves completely into what is Down syndrome, what does it mean? The experience at the hospital that we had was um, bit of a mixed bag there was some very old-fashioned information that was given to us which is one of the mm. things that we've since addressed and has changed but um, you know it was life-changing that moment was life-changing wasn't it um, and the group and the other m mums and families and the other children that we've met are a constant hope and support and we can see what can be achieved even for somebody like Freddie who had health problems as well didn't he Ups and Downs supports 25 plus families in the area and we provide activities, now a growing range of services and um, support siblings and families and education and the group is constantly growing. Ups and Downs hires out the Wacky Warehouse once a month in Rushton so all our, the families and the children get together there. We have sole use of the soft play so that our children can gain confidence and increase their gross motor ability in an environment which is safe and secure for them. Another really important activity that we provide for our children is Sing and Sign and we've been lucky enough to find the lovely Amanda that's been with our charity from the beginning and does weekly sessions of singing and signing. Yeah, she's now worked with lots of different children uh, and families and it's just a really fun and enjoyable way for children to start to learn to sign, to communicate and put that alongside song and, and, and music and it's just made such a difference to the speech of many children within our group. Another massively important service that we've been able to provide this year, and it was new this year, is the speech and language programme for the children in our group. Speech is a huge issue for children with Down syndrome, and in a local authority where services are constantly being cut, we were, we've been very fortunate to be able to find a specialist, Caroline Hattie, who has a specialism to work with children specifically with Down syndrome. As the age range of the children increases, we will still need speech and language therapy because it's important that even though you may have a 10, 11 year old, 12 year old child, um, they still need help with their communication and social communication, how to interact with other people regularly to help them reach their communicative potential even into adulthood. The cost of specialist speech and language is not cheap and the group's been able to fund this year uh, the project uh, at a cost of around £12,000. Um, clearly that's a huge amount for a small charity to bear and we're, we're reliant on our fundraising efforts solely uh, in order to provide this. Another really great activity that Ups and Downs is able to provide for its children is swimming. 
uh, we started group sessions but we've been lucky enough to be able to provide one-to-one -one swim sessions for those children that can and want to access it which is hugely important for gross motor development muscle tone and also from a fitness point of view it's really important that our kids keep active one of the other great things about swimming is it can be a real leveler so for some of our children with Down syndrome it's actually one of those activities where they're on a par or perhaps even more advanced than, than their siblings. Another key service that we provide now is training for support in schools and again with no funding available in the local authority um, it's really important that we're able to do this. In the last three years we've trained now almost a hundred school staff um, and we've got specialist occupational therapy uh, workers in our schools advising teachers and, and working with our children uh, and this type of specialist support that our children are getting is just not found um, without the, the work of our group so again it's just something that we that we must try and continue in the future. The cost of providing this support to schools over the last three years has exceeded £10,000. I think the challenges um, for the future of our charity is definitely to um, ensure that we have plenty of funds in the pot to be able to sustain the activities that we're currently funding and also to um, be able to source new activities as the children get older. Well I wouldn't be where I am today without them because they've pointed me in the right direction. They do so much and I don't know whether they know how much they actually do for the children and for the families. And um, We've been coming to ups and downs since Shannon was born. Um, when we got out of the hospital, we were given all the information of the charity. We rang them straight away. Karen came and visited within a couple of days and we started taking her to the wacky warehouse. I think she was about two weeks old. They were there from the get-go, weren't they? Yeah, great. Who's your friend? Who's your friend? Oliver. Oliver? Uh, Oliver. Oliver. Jacob. Jacob. Shannon. 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 Who else? Ollie. And Sarah. The fundraising that we do is so important to keep ups and downs alive and to keep alive all the work that we're doing in the community and support the schools and to support the families. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Upside Down. What do you like best about yeah. Ups and Downs? I like best world. Best in the world. Mm -hmm. Best in the world? Yeah.